Okay, well, where have I been? Um, I'm making this video to kinda send a message out to you boys on where I've been. I haven't streamed nor really uploaded. And I just wanna tell you guys what's been going on with me. Not like I'm, I'm just sending a message out to the people that you know, maybe miss my presence, you know, okay, okay. For the people that wonder where I am, miss my presence, whatever you want to say, hey, I miss you too, I miss you too. Um, but yeah, um, it is currently 5 a.m. in the morning, I was about to go to bed, but I wanted to make a video, and I feel like I owe you guys, not necessarily owe, I owe nobody shit. But, but, I felt like I should, I should give you guys a response. Like, where have I been, man? Where have I been? All right, cut straight to it. Cut straight to it. Um, I haven't streamed in about 17 days. Um, I haven't uploaded in a little bit. Um, but yeah. Reason why I stopped streaming, stopped doing TikTok. One, I got banned on TikTok. 400K. <laughs> Down the drain. That's cool though. I'm fine. I'm not upset whatsoever. I promise you. I am not upset. But, um, I haven't been doing TikTok. I haven't been doing YouTube. Um,. And I, I think I'm going to chill out on streaming. And I'm not necessarily quitting. I'm just going to be taking a break. Um, I got COVID before I stopped streaming. I got COVID. And then I started getting anxiety. Blah, 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 blah. Um... I started understanding what real anxiety feels like. And to the motherfuckers, to you motherfuckers that have anxiety, y'all some strong ass people, bro. Cause dude, I could not handle it, bro. I I thought you motherfuckers were making the shit up. Like I didn't really, really understand what anxiety felt like until now. Now, to fix my anxiety, I started taking SSRIs. If you don't know what SSRIs are, it's like a anti-anxiety and an antidepressant. Well, an antidepressant helps with anxiety and depression because it's in the same category. Um, but yeah, I started taking antidepressants and bro, I feel, I feel 10 times better. I, I got energy. Dude, I haven't drank energy drinks in a while. No energy. No energy drinks. Um, I got, uh, I haven't smoked weed in five months. Again, I was, I was low key a chronic, chronic. I was low key about it, but I smoked almost every day for a year. But yeah, bro, I'm I, I'm about to quit vaping here soon. I got a job. Your boy got a job finally. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be working at Amazon. Hey, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I've never worked a job in my life. Sorry about that. I haven't worked a job in my life, bro. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just throwing myself in three days a week for 12 hour shifts a day. It don't sound that bad until you probably get into it. I'm going in no expectations whatsoever. I'm gonna just dive right into it. And start stacking the bread, stacking the chips, stacking my coin. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of just go from there, go from there. Um, also want to point out something. I have a Minecraft world. My little single player Minecraft world, I hop on whenever I'm bored or back in my days when I was really depressed and 
I'd smoke and hop on Minecraft, just think, listen to music, and just be miserable. And I do not miss those days of being depressed and smoking. Hey, I, to be honest, bro, if you enjoy smoking, go for it. But smoking ain't for me. To be honest, it made anxiety way worse for me. When I stopped, when I stopped smoking, bro, it made it where I had anxiety and depression so, like, fucking, it was ramped up due to me quitting smoking because the serotonin levels in my brain, hard to explain, but if you guys do have depression or anxiety and you don't know, you don't take any antidepressants, you maybe been thinking about it, I really recommend researching it, researching just research what SSRIs mean. It's literally SSRI. And look what they do for you. And if you do have depression, I'm going to be honest. It's not like one of those things you take and it's like, <laughs> I feel great. But no, no, no. It, it's more, you, you take it, you take it for a bit. And you start to you start to feel more energy. You start to you start to feel better. Not like it gives you purpose, cause what what makes me happy is purpose. My purpose right now is I'm striving for happiness. I live in the moment, day by day. Shit, man, I'm 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 feeling I'm feeling way better, way better. Not cause I quit streaming. I quit. Sh I didn't really quit, but I'm gonna say I quit for now. I'll come back, trust, trust. But um, I quit for now because it's like, I need, a, I need to start getting out of the comfort zone. Streaming was definitely in my comfort zone. Um, I wasn't really making any m more money and that's due to me being depressed. And I had a dude in my chat, Wally1k. And he said something to me when I was playing DayZ and I only had like fucking like five viewers, something like that. It was, it, it's been, it dropped. I fell off really bad. And I was like, I quit, I quit playing Rust because I just wasn't happy with the game. And he said, fuck your feelings, you gotta get that bag. And I understand what he meant, I understand. But to be honest, me playing video games and... I don't know what what made video games fun for me back in school was like say for instance yeah you woke up early in the morning it's like oh I don't want to go to school and you end up going to school and then all day it just kind of lingers in your head and it's like I can't wait to get home and play some games bro and then you get home and dude those those especially the weekends those were the best nights bro but playing video games every fucking day, uh, 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 almost, I'm not 24-7, but like every single fucking day for like 8-12 hours a day, just gaming, gaming, but dude, it wears you down, it also makes you depressed, makes you feel like you ain't got no purpose in a way, and it's like, what the fuck am I doing? But yeah, I stopped streaming for now. Uh, I'm gonna go work at Amazon for the next six months, probably. We'll see, uh, I'll give another update when I do start working. I'm gonna give it a couple. I'm gonna give it about a month or two, and then I'll upload a video about how. I'll, I'll, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do these kind of videos. If you guys want, just drop a like. Just kind of, kind of send me a little bit of feedback. What you guys think about these videos? If you, I, to be honest. I'm really making these videos for you guys and for when I get older I can come back and watch these and just see how I see how I am as a 20 year old man child but yeah dude I'm feeling great I'm feeling better than the last year or two last, last year also what do you guys think about the uh, war in Ukraine some, but um, yeah, man, um, I'm doing good. Got a job. We stopped streaming for a bit, probably for the next six months. 
I'll also drop videos every every month, every so-called week. It depends on how I feel about it. I'm not really too in the whole content creation. I don't want to call out all the content creators in the world, but to be honest, bro, I feel like I started streaming mainly, bro. I think I mainly started streaming because I. This is gonna come off it's like, but like I, I, I don't want to say it, but I kind of do. But me as a content creator, now as a step back away from it, and it's like I got my family, I have my friends. I ain't got a whole lot of friends. I got my homies, you know, my my my, my group, my little group. And um, I step back, and to be honest, I started streaming because I wanted to be known. I wanted to, I wanted everybody to know who I was and da 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 da. I want I wanted to, I wanted to be the best man. I wanted to be the best. And to be honest, I shot up there pretty fast on becoming known. And to be honest, it wasn't it wasn't. I didn't get uh, fulfillment out of it. I yeah, the money came with it. That's what made me stick around a little longer than I, sh I felt like I should. The money, I'm gonna be honest, the money, the money was really good when I started blowing. Money was fucking crazy, bro. I was, I was making a thousand dollars a stream. Dude, my girlfriend wouldn't want you, when when you guys in here and that she she want me to keep that shit on low. Hey, and I didn't even pay my taxes yet. But hey. 20 year old man child here bro he's i'm turning 21 in august august 17th um but yeah i do apologize for being very inactive um i promise to keep you guys updated on my life if you guys are interested again i'm not i'm not really gonna be reading the comments because i don't want the comments to mess up my 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 view of things because Dude, I'll spot one hate comment. It just kind of lingers a little bit. And it's like... Am I really? Am I really? Like... It's... It's... it's hate comments, man. Hey. You know what they say in... Like, fuck the haters, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, but... Hey, let's be for real, though. People that leave hate comments, they just projecting. Let's be real. They just projecting. But uh, yeah, I'm doing good, boys. I'm doing good. I appreciate you for clicking on this video. It shows that you're, shows that you care, or you're interested, or you know, just one video to watch. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. I'm um, living the dream. You know me, chilling. Um, I think I want to do something. I'm planning on going to Las Vegas and Miami and Brazil for 20 days with Giddy. We haven't fully planned that out, but in August, I'm planning on going to Las Vegas to go see, my, see some of my homies, Nate, Jason, Cameron. And I'm thinking about going with my homeboy Gamer. Um, and we all met, we all met back in 2014, bro. Was it 2014? I think it was 2015. 20, we met in 2015 on day Z when I was a little fucking kid, bro. I was like, what? I was 14 years old, bro. Like, yeah, I was 14 years old. That's crazy. 14 turning 15, something like that. Dude, I was a little fucking squeaker, man. But dude, those are those are my home those are some of my homies. Um, but yeah. I really do appreciate you guys for watching. I'm sorry for rambling and whatnot. You guys are more than welcome to click off. To be honest, I kinda just wanna keep talking to the camera. I can go forever, fuck me. Um You know what? Ah fuck. I, I feel like I'm gonna lose my train of thought one day and I feel talkative right now, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I'm feeling talkative as a motherfucker. But what else? What else, man? What else has been going on? 
I got a new dog. His name's Dudley. Let me show you a picture. And Dudley, man. Fucking little Dudley. He is he is a fucking cute little thing, bro. I would pop it up on the screen, but I'm gonna be honest. I don't do all that shit. I don't like editing. But look at this. Little Dudley. He's a one he's a one in the middle. Look at that. Little Dudley. I, they look sad. He's it's just how the dogs are. They're they they're just droopy. Like look at him, bro. Look at look at the motherfucker, bro. Dude, that motherfucker is so cute, bro. Little Dudley, bro. Little Dudley. Dude, he's my he's my he's my little thing, man. My little thing. Um What else? What else? What else? Um I've been getting more into a little bit of working out. Um I'm trying to stick to it. Uh, it's, sadly, it's not an everyday thing. To be honest with you, I fucking hate work. How the fuck do you work out, bro? What motivates you, bro? Like, I'm, I've heard motherfuckers, they say, they say, um, uh, um, uh, get your heart broken and you'll want to work out. Like, nah, bro, like, the working out low-key kind of painful, bro. Dude, I did 120 push-ups and... In one day, that's a lot, bro. That's a lot for me, bro. 121 push up 120. I didn't mean to add them one, let's be honest. But 120 push ups, and I did that because I was playing Fortnite, and every game I died, I'd do 20 push ups. And let's just say, bro, it made me win games, bro. I didn't want to do push ups. But I did, I did do 120 push-ups that day. In the next like three days, bro, it's like, oh, my arms are killing me. But hey, look at these fucking guns, man. Ah, huge, huge. Like, I'm working it. What I'm saying. But um, yeah, I want to start getting into working out more. Uh, yeah, man. Um, oh, dude, and I also, I played Fortnite with, with this, um, fuck, what's his name? His name is on the tip of my tongue. I wish, hold on, hold on, I'll find it, I'll find it. Sawyer, Sawyer, if you're watching this, bro, I love you, man. Sawyer, he's a little dude. Um, I forgot how old he is, I'm gonna go on a limb, 14, 15, something like that. Maybe 13, I don't know. But he came in my chat a while back to tell me he had cancer. He got diagnosed with cancer. And he hopped in a Fortnite game here recently with me. Like probably two, two weeks ago. Maybe three weeks ago. And Sawyer told me, he, he told me he beat cancer, bro. And at first when he said, he was like, I was the one that told you I had cancer. And to be honest, Completely, I, I completely was like, nah, I, 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 I don't remember that. But then it started to dawn on me. I was like, I remember somebody saying, and I was like, that was you, that was you. And he started talking to me all about it. Bro Sawyer, I just want to say, bro, he was a strong motherfucker, bro. He told me about the chemo, and he said it was hell, bro. But dude, you beat it, you beat it, you, hey, bro. You got a guardian angel looking over you, my man. You got an A. If y'all motherfuckers don't believe in God, that's all I, I, But my beliefs, bro. Hey, guardian angel looking down on you, my man. But yeah. Everything's going great. I don't know what else to dibble dip. I've been playing a lot of Escape from Tarkov. I would show you guys my stash, but then it would kind of motivate me to play a little bit. Um, I'm going to get ready and go to bed right now and I gotta do two loads of trash for my pops and yeah and I'm going fishing with my girlfriend tomorrow so that'll be fun that'll be fun I love you boys thank you for watching um I'm gonna do more of these I dude I swear to you here let me show you. if you guys are interested I'm I mean I'm taking I'm taking these SSRIs it's called paroxetine, paroxetine, 20 milligram. 
And bro, I started, I took them for about two weeks, never felt better. But if you if you're come if you're coming off from smoking so much, and you start taking these, you'll start to feel really really anxious. But again, anxious is just the feeling. Don't overthink it. Be strong, bro. Let's get past get past the first three four days of it. It's not hell. It will feel kind of kind of shitty a little bit. That's only if you're like you know anxiety, but depression kicks in within about two weeks maybe a month um but for me it kicked in within a week which was crazy bro it didn't i didn't just instantly snap into it and it was like you know what i mean it, it fuck bro but hey man i'm doing i'm doing better i'm doing better i'm doing really good and i'm thankful i've never never been happier so yeah i appreciate you guys for watching um stay tuned man if you guys do want to get in contact with me my dms on discord are always open boys just dm me please don't say no stupid shit bro just hey just talk to me bro i'm a normal human being man look at me bro i'm fucking normal normal as a but hey do you guys ever want to talk you you ain't got nobody to talk to, nobody to vent to, bro. I'm here, man. I'm here. I'm here, for real. I'm here. I know how it feels, for real. I know how it feels. You guys need anybody, need somebody to talk to. Dude, I get Discord DMs, bro. I get Discord DMs, it pops up on my phone. But if you start saying some fucking stupid shit, I'm just going to completely ignore you, bro. I'm going to be honest. That's just me. But hey, if you come at me with some just some real stuff or you you say, you know, you love my stuff and my yoga plays and I'd really appreciate that. So I'm like, hey, again, I'm here if you ever want to talk. I love you guys. Everybody, please have a wonderful night or rest of your day or have a good day. I love you boys. Stay blessed. Deuces, my man. I'll see you in the next video.